Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the amazing features of the Astra theme. One of the best themes for WordPress. There's a free version that has a lot of capabilities, but there are also premium upgrades and in this video series I will cover every topic. If you want to get one of the premium packages of the Astra theme, you can go to ferdycorp.com forward slash Astra. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy this through my link I get a commission, so thank you for that. Then you can choose a package and click on get started. You can pay with credit card or PayPal. Then you can download all the premium plugins, upload them to your website, activate them, and then through these tutorials, I will show you step by step how all the premium plugins work. If you like what you're seeing so far, please like this video. And if you want to see more upcoming videos, please consider to subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll get an update when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So this is what we have made with the free version of Astra. It is amazing, but we will take it to the next level. And in this video, we will take a look at the colors of the pro version of Astra. So I go to the backend, to appearance, Astra options. I assume you have Astra Pro installed. And over here, you see all the available Astra Pro modules. And here are colors and background. So if I go to the website in a new tab, and I go and customize the website here at the colors and background, you see three options, but if I activate this colors and background and I refresh the page and I go to colors and background, you see more options. So what I will do in this video series, I will walk through all these extra modules one by one and I start with colors and background. So this one, this one, and this one we had already, those are exactly the same as with the free version and everything between header, content, block, and sidebar are new. So let's take a look at the header. With the free version, you cannot change the background color, and now we can. So I click on header, primary header, the background color. I can change it if I want to, to a different color, but I don't want to do that. So I clear it, but I can. So let me, for the illustration, make it a little bit grayish, like that. We can also select a background color. So I grab just one, select it, and you don't see it. Why? Because the background color is in front of the background. So if I make it transparent, you see it coming through like that. So imagine I leave it like this. So you see the background. What I can do now, if I scroll down, we also have the primary menu, this area over here. I can change the background color to white. Now you see that this area of the menu has a different background color. So you can have a background color for the whole width and for the menu area. So if I would do that, it doesn't look that good, but I just want to illustrate how it can look in the tutorial. So you know what? I'll get rid of this one. I make this white and I make the primary background color dark. You know, again, I get the color of the logo using the color pick tool of Google Chrome and I copy that color over here. So it's the same as the logo, but then I want to change the links. So over here I can change the link to white like that. And if I hover over it, the color changes and I don't want that. So I want it to stay white, but what I want to do is change the background color when I hover over it. So I make it blue again, but this time darker like that. So when I hover over it, this happens. When you hover over here, you don't see this anymore. How can we fix that? Really easy. But before we do that, I leave this all as it is. I want to change the active background color to this color. So I copy that and I paste that. And if I click on publish and I go to the about page, for instance, it stays that color, but now this is blue. I don't want that. So the active link color must be white. So it gives you a lot of freedom to do whatever you want to do within the header. I did not even mention the sticky header. That's also a possibility with pro module. So I think you made a great choice getting Astra pro and I will show you step-by-step step what you can do with it. So let's continue with this, but then we have the sub menu. I want to show the colors so I can choose a dark background with white text. So the background color, I can say, make it dark again. And now you see the text. 
So I can say make the make it the same background as this over here. Background color. So there's one style. Or I can make it white and change the link color. And now it looks like this. And when I hover over it, it changes like that. I like that. It pops out a bit better. So that's what I can do. And again, here with all the same options, link hover color, hover background color, active link color, and active background color. So that's what you can do over here. I go back and I go back and then we have content and we have a background color. We can change it, but it does not apply to this page because this page is made with Elementor. If we would go to the block page, we can affect this area over here. So let's see what we can do. We can affect this area. So now it has this color. Uh, I like it to be white. And again, we can have a background image. Let me show you really quick. And then make this transparent. Like that. Let's remove this. Then the colors of the heading. This is a heading one. I know that because that's a title. We can change all the colors of the heading. So if I go to this blog post, I know that this is the header two. So I go to heading two and I can change the color to something else. And you see it changing immediately. So I like that if you have header three, four or five, you can change all those colors. So that's really nice. What else can we do? I go back, I go to blog, to blog archive. And there are archive pages, for instance, personal. I search for the, let me go back to blog and I have two blog posts with the category personal. So if I click on personal, I see an archive page and over here I see a gray background and a blue text and I can change the background color to this one and I can change the title color to white and the description color. I don't think we have that, but if you could see it, it will be orange. And if you want to have that, I can go to the back end to posts, categories, I go to personal, edit, and I can say my personal blog posts update. Now refresh the page. I go to blog, personal, and there you have it. And then we can go to colors, blog block archive and the description can be white as well. Then we have the blog page, the blog slash archive post title color. And there I can change the color of the title. So I can make it red and you see it is red. Again, I paste this color. Then we have the post meta color, which is this over here. I make it gray. Maybe the darker. Yeah, I think this is okay. And then we can have the links, those two and change the colors. But I think I like it the way it is. And when people hover over it, then I can say it should be green, maybe a bit darker. So when they hover over it, they see it's a color. When you hover over read more, it becomes green. When you hover over it, you see it is a link and also here. So I like it. And then we have the single post and we have only one option. So if I go to the single post, we can change the single post title color, which is this over here. So I can make it gray or a different color. So that's what you can do over here at block. And as you see, we're all just in colors and backgrounds. So we're only changing colors. There are a lot of options with the pro version using in combination with the block page. But in this video, we're just covering the colors. Then we have the sidebar. The background color, I can change it. And then you see those areas between the sidebar. So I don't like this. This option is better applied when you have a different style. Right now it is boxed. And if you would use a different style, then you can apply a different background. So then you should go to layout container and change this over here. So colors sidebar. Widget title color, again, I paste it and it becomes blue. 
the text color. Well, there's not much text, but this is also text. So I can change it to red for instance, and then you see it changes over here. So you can change it. I, I normally would say just something like that black the link color. This is a link and this over here. So if I would change that, it all will be orange and then the link hover color. So that's it for the sidebar. And those three options are in the free version. So we talked about it already. And that's what you can do with the colors and background using Astra Pro. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And I hope you have a great day and you will see me next time. Bye bye.